In this lesson, we're going to look at four different ways you can add documents to your Weebly website. So for this, I've created a documents page. We're going to come over to build and look at those four different options. Option number one is to add a simple image. The good thing about adding an image is that you can customize the file look to whatever it is you want it to be. Next one is just a simple file. We're going to add, we're going to try a button. And we're going to do a scribbed document. Now the script document you can see will be very small if I put it in a section like this. So I am going to actually move this to be below all the other documents. Let's take a look at how to customize these four options. First, let's take a look at the button text. Just click on the button. And the first thing you need to do is change the actual text and what it reads to whatever you need it to say. I'm going to write newsletter 2020. And then you can change the position to be left, middle, or right side. So as you can imagine, having several of these going down the page would look really nice. Next, you're going to link it to your file. There's other places you could link a button to, but I want to link it to a file for this document. And you're just going to click on Upload New and Upload from your, your computer. Click Open. And for me, I want it to open in a new window so it doesn't disturb the actual website and the um, customer can find the website easily. So here you can see it is linked to the proper site. Um, and the text is visible. So I'm good to go on that one. So let's look at the next one. Here, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to upload a file that you want to use. I'm going to use the same file for all of them so you can see the difference. Notice what it does is it will change the icon to whatever type of file it is. I suggest using a PDF because everybody can read a PDF. Not everyone can read a Word file or a doc file or a pages file. But what I do want to change is I want to change what this reads because I really don't like the way that looks. So I'm going to change it to newsletter 2020. You can just position it to the right or to the left. Okay, and then this option is to actually just use a photograph, but you're going to link that photograph to your document file. Okay. As you can see, I think that image is way too large, so I'm going to make it small. You could do several of these across or down. You could use a gallery. You can also use, um, you can also use a, a slideshow if you wanted to. So I've got my image. I'm going to center it so it looks nice. And I'm going to link it. Again, you're going to choose file. And I've already got mine here because I've uploaded it earlier. So you can just choose it from right here. And I'm going to open it in a new window and move back. Make sure the file link is still there. Okay. And the last one, the last one is the only one that will, you will visually see the document in all of its form right on the page. All you have to do is click on it and upload your file.
there are some options when doing this is if you click again, you can choose a small height. So you can see that the document fits within this very small rectangular shape right here. And the only way you can view the document will be to use this slider option here. You could choose a medium, large, or extra large if you wanted the whole thing to show. As you can see in the script document as well, um, you can download it um, right here. So that's gonna be an option for everyone. So let's publish these and take a look. Let's go to our documents page and look at our four options. Okay, the button text, notice as you go over it, it changes color and it opens up in a new page and it pulls your PDF to full screen. All right, and the newsletter one, it looks like this. And notice that when you hover over the download file, it gives you the option right there. It will look very similar to the one before. Okay, the images, you'll just click and it will pull up another tab. and it will look the same. And then finally, your fourth option is the embedded option. So what you see here on the right, you have a scrolling feature, and then you have options here to be able to download this or share it or to see it in full screen if you need to. My only suggestion is if you do use this option, perhaps only have one document embedded this way, because if you had document after document after document, it might look um, a little bit cluttered and it might be hard for people to read. But if you just have one document on the page, I think it would look fine. So those are your options.